What's going on, guys? Way from Revolution. Sorry. What's going on, guys? Way from Revolution here with Laurent Dordé, the boss of watches at Hermes. How are you, sir? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Really cool. Uh, so I want to talk to you today about a new GMT watch that I saw that I absolutely love. So it's an Arso model. Uh, it is called Le Ton Voyageur. And it's a really interesting way of combining a really pragmatic complication yep. with originally a very sort of poetic expression of time, right? So I'm going to take the watch up. So it comes in two models. This one is 38. Absolutely. In steel. And this one is 41. One. Uh, with a black and titanium and platinum in the back here. And actually, I'll tell you the prices of the watches later. You'll be really surprised at how, you know, the great value that they represent, at least to me, right? So what you have, in, interestingly here, here is time toll on a subdial that is floating around a map, an equestrian map of the world. And you'll see there's a fixed city disk around there, right? And that represents the 24 hours of, uh, the 24 time zones that are present on Earth. So what's gonna happen is, as you're pressing this, you'll see there's a little red arrow here, and that tells you the time in each specific city. So what you would do is you would go to whatever city you're in. So we're gonna go to 24 Fabou. 24 Fabou is incidentally the um, address of the original Hermes shop in Paris. And then what you would do then is you would take out the crown to the third position. Excuse me, I'm just gonna do it here. And then you would set the time to wherever, whatever the time was. Well, actually, we we'll just do it now. It's two o'clock, right? And what's really cool here, you'll see as I'm manipulating this, you'll see there's actually a 24 hour representation of the time above, which also allows you to tell AM and PM hours. So I'm gonna close this now, we're back, and I'm gonna press the button. So as we advance to the next city, the time automatically changes for that zone. So it's wonderfully pragmatic, super intuitive to use, and yet at the same time, really emotionally expressive. I think it's an amazing watch. Um, the price in the wrong code is 23,000 euro in Europe. I think that's that's actually crazily good value. Um, 23,000 euro in Europe. And 18 for this one. And 18 for the steel, which is 38 mm. And actually, incidentally, I think both are adaptable for both men and women. I think they're uh, absolutely. E easily. And I'm just gonna press that here as well. Up to you. <laughs> And look at this sort of beautiful um, gradient uh, color in the center of that subdial. It's absolutely stunning. Oh my God, it's got luminous hands. That's great. <laughs> so if you want to tell the time in the dark, that's great as well. Um, I love it. It's a collaboration with uh, Jean-François Mongeon of Cronode, which is a, a long-term collaborator of the Montre Hermes. But I have to say, it's an absolutely delightful watch. And to me, actually, one of my highlights of the Watches and Wonders 2021. 2022, excuse me. There was no watches of wonder in 2021. Nice, absolutely. Now we're going to go from digital there. Digital one. In the, uh, I don't like the digital one. <laughs> I know. prefer the physical me one. Me too. Uh, we're going to go from there to a watch that was launched last year, the H08. Laurent, we're going to ask you to explain this one. Oh, well, you've got oh, all the H08. The H08 line uh, is our first uh, sport line for men uh, that we launched last year in uh, three different versions titanium and uh, graphene composite. This is an additional proposal, which is a blue edition uh, in uh, titanium coated with blue PVD uh, and a black ceramic uh, uh, bezel. Um, so um, the price is 6.5 thousand euro in Europe. That's fantastic. Yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> and uh, and I'm, I mean, uh, this is a greater success we had last year uh, all over the world. Uh, First country being USA. I hear there's a um, um, almost a five times over subscription to this. Watch. Absolutely, we couldn't follow the rhythm. Uh, we are trying to catch up now, and uh, that's our real uh, first uh, masculine success in volume uh, in uh, mechanical watches. So we are extremely proud, and uh, we'll continue on that uh, path and on that uh, line in the coming months and years, with a lot of surprise coming uh, next year. Fantastic, guys. Great watches, Le Temps Voyageur, absolutely brilliant. Come and check it out. Thank you so much, Lowell. Thank you, Wiko. Cheers. Bye, guys.